I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the low speed on your radiator fan today. Um, one of the big problems we run into with the 86 and 91 Vanagons is that their low speed on their radiator fan does not work. And the culprit to that is a part that lives right here um, behind this headlight. Okay, that is your radiator fan low speed resistor. Okay, and it just snaps into this little metal piece here. Take it out, unplug it. And you can see this is the old one. Um, the green on the outside is going bad. An easy way to tell if one of these is bad is uh, you come into the van and you turn on your AC with the key on. And when you turn on your AC right here, or some of them have it up in the roof up here, the earlier ones, uh, you turn that on, turn on your fan speeds, and if the AC, you can hear the blower in the back coming on, and the compressor's coming on, but there's no radiator fan coming on. You don't hear this up in the front. As soon as you turn that on, usually that means this resistor is bad. Now, your high speed fan will still come on, so it might not overheat, but it'll sound like uh, you're in Black Hawk Down right before the crash part. It's like, and it's like, it's not to make you mess yourself. So, you want to replace this thing if you're having that issue. Um, it's not a big deal to do it. As you can see, I've already pulled the headlight out and you just take out the whole frame and everything. There's four little screw holes here. Phillips head, take them loose, unplug it. Um, check to see if all your lights are good before you do that because that would be an awesome time to change out your headlights, bulbs, if you need a new bulb. It would also be a great time to change an antenna if you have a broken antenna. But if those things are good, all you want to do is change out this beast. Okay, so we got the old one out. Um, well, let's see about getting the new one. Let me walk in here with it. Alright, so we got the old one. The new ones that we have are actually a little bit different. Okay, they don't make these original ones anymore. But you can see this new one, the body is basically the same, similar style. Um, it has a little cutout on the side. That's about the big difference. And what you need to do is just cut these wires off the old one with your old plug. The new ones come with a different style plug. Um, so you cut the wiring off the old one. You cut the wiring off the new one. Maybe leave a couple inches. Okay, splice the plug back on there from the old one. And uh, you'll be good to go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll put it back together and I'll show you what it's like when it works. Back. Um, as you can see, I've got this new resistor all spliced in. When you go to splice it, really the only one that matters wire-wise is this most farther away one from the plug. There's one on one end all by itself. You want to splice that to the same wire that's got one on that far end on the old plug. Um, you leave maybe like an inch these wires so you can have something to splice to and I usually use these crimp splices I mean I know people don't like them but give them the pull test if they pull and don't pull out they're good that's what they use in the aviation industry they do not like uh, soldering in the aviation industry because it will crack over time with vibration so just letting you know so I got this beast in here plugged it back in got the key in the ignition it's turned on you can hear the Mexican hat dance going off and you just go over here and you hear that noise sound like a cow that's trying to die or wake up or something I mean that is the noise you want to hear to me that's like Captain Kirk says engage warp factor 6 and Scotty says yes captain okay she's good to go so that's it now you got your low speed going you need that when you're going to have your air conditioning working properly you need that so that your you know radiator doesn't get too hot you know go up to a whole another heat level <coughs> before the high speed fan comes on so you want to keep the temperature down keep the thing running good so that you don't have no coolant issues no overheat issues this summer that's my video about doing the radiator fan resistor test and replacement. 
Um, if you need to order that part, we have that on our website at www.vanagain.com. And we also have a donate page on PayPal where you can donate to us for making this nice video for you. Uh, the email address is Ken Wilfie, K E N W I L F, as in Fred Y, Ken Wilfie at Comcast.net. And you can go to PayPal or on our webpage, just click on the Ask Ken link in the upper right corner. And you can go down, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the donate button for PayPal there. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.